Ryan, unmute your mic. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. Andrew Tate just had Ryan Garcia on his stream Twitter space and he went off about his recent situation and he's going on a tangent of tweets exposing everything talking about aliens, devils, everything when he's meant to be having a boxing fight with Devin Haney. I'm not sure what is going on with this guy. How this stream ended up happening when Andrew Tate seeded tweets, he said, Ryan Garcia, I'll do a space so you can talk. And Ryan Garcia said, bro, please. And Ryan Garcia also said, okay, set up and bring Tristan, please. Andrew Tate said 20 minutes G and finally got him on a call. Well, the way it typically typically works is with sponsorship contracts. So what they would do with someone like me, who's monumentally influential, they'd come along and say, we're going to pay you $50 million. And then in exchange for that money, you're going to support this company. But to make sure that that's, this company doesn't get in any trouble, make sure you don't bring any heat on this company. Your official positions on LGBT will be X. Your official positions on Israel-Palestine will be Y. And don't worry, we spend a lot of money with advertising spends with the media outlets, so the media outlets will never print anything bad about you because they cannot attack the poster child of the person who funds them. So typically what they do is they try and get you to agree to these sponsorship contracts to neuter you. And once you've taken the money, you then are inner circle, Hollywood, Illuminati, whoever, whatever you want to call it, which is why singers you've never heard of are at the Brit Awards or the Met Gala. And then the people on the internet who are free, who are far more famous than they are, these singers, nobody knows who they are, nobody cares, is not invited. We're not invited to those things. You would go, you'd go to an after party. At the after party, every single room would be bugged. There'd be cameras, there'd be microphones, as we can see in Diddy's lawsuit. Something haram will happen in the house. You'll be offered to do a bunch of bad things yourself, drugs, women, etc. Something bad will happen. Somehow you'll be linked as an accomplice to it. Someone will come to you and say, oh, look, this underage girl had sex with this guy in this room and you were only in the room next door. And if the police come, it's going to look bad on you. It's going to be all over the papers and you're going to be a sexual tra trafficker. But don't worry, because of this sponsorship, we're going to make sure it stays out in the media. We've got your back. Don't worry. See you at the next party. So then you're stuck. You have to be friends with these people or they've already semi-threatened you. And I can, I'll, I'll sit it right here, right now. The reason my matrix attack came is because I turned down a sponsorship contract. Whether they let me walk or throw me in a dungeon forever, we're going to find out. But that's how it goes. Because most people, when they're offered $50 million, take the $50 million. But I'm not going to dress fruity and condone a genocide for money. So you just have to put me in fucking jail, I guess. So as for what Ryan's saying, we're going to see his story. I'm going to keep chasing him up. And I'll unmute the mic again when he's online. Ryan, unmute your mic. Yo, Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. He doesn't want to take us all, so let's go. Come on, He doesn't want to take us all. Come on, fuck this guy. Bro, fuck this dude, dude. Who? Who? Bro, you, do know you, the, you know you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path Andrew, you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst part No, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. You have proof of these things. On, you have proof of this on your phone. Yes, of course I do. The fuck are you talking about? Of course, if Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to get my, you out of it? I can help. Well, bro, my door gets kicked in if I if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, well, I can help you get out of it if you want. I know people. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> tell us what tell everyone at home then start from the beginning when did this happen where did this happen what exactly did you see why have you tweeted the things you've tweeted let people at home understand you a little because bit. i don't give a fuck bro they raped me right i was two years old they raped me 
I have proof of that too. That's where it all started, bro. Okay. You do know there's going to be certain people who believe, and I'm Ryan, you know, I like you. We've been speaking for years. You know, there's yes. going to be people who believe you're just saying this because you've, I don't know, had a mental breakdown or taken drugs and you're repeating of course, some of, of the course. things you've said on the internet. And that, Guess so what? they're going to not I, believe you unless you come at it very the drug coherently. Test, Andrew, Andrew, I'll go to the fucking Romania and take a drug test in front of your face. Bro, you don't want to come here. <laughs> you, you don't need Romanian jails. Bad for your fight camp. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just asking, like, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to tell a far more, co more coherent story from start to finish for people to truly understand that what you're saying happened is what you saw, and that this is not some sort of episode or anything else. This is my advice to you as a brother. I'm trying to make it. If you want people to believe you, you're gonna have to come along and explain from the absolute beginning exactly how it happened, who was involved, how you got there, what car you were in, where you were standing, everything. Uh -huh. Of course they're going to want that, and I have all the information possible. Okay, so when are you releasing it? How are you releasing it? Or are you keeping it for yourself? Because it looks like you don't want to keep it for yourself. I don't. At the right time, I'm going to release all of it. But at the right time, I'm going to do it. They're already calling me to tell me to stop. I don't give a fuck, dude. I've already had a meeting with them. I'm going to let you sit with that, Andrew. All right, bro. Well, I want you to know that either way, I'm praying for you, and I hope that. Thank you, bro. You know, no, and, and I mean, I don't that, give absolutely. a fuck, bro. And Alex Jones has been saying the same shit, and they try to can't. The only reason they can't stop me because they listen to the devil. I listen to God. God gave me authority. It's over for everybody, bro. But I Alex is Alex. Alex. They've painted. They've attempted to paint him as some psycho conspiracy theorist. Even though he's not, so bro, when he says when again, he says bro. things, when he says things, they're not as afraid of him releasing the truth because they feel like they've done a good job of brainwashing the average person. Hey, bro, out of respect for you, bro, out of respect for you, I love you. I'm gonna hop off this, share it to the world, please. All right, Ryan. Ryan, I'll talk to you privately as well. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. All right, bro. It's an interesting conversation. It's an interesting topic because we're discussing things that do happen and things like This is really sad to see because regardless if Ryan Garcia is exposing some home truths, he's suffered with his mental health in the past and he still doesn't seem 100% stable with whatever he's going through right now. Uh, my cards are locked and I'm just being real. At some point he was just getting weirder and weirder in his Instagram posts and now he's taken to Twitter and I want to find out more details on what's actually sent him into this dark place. I guess we'll find out soon but I will keep you posted here on the Ryan Garcia situation as well because it's absolutely crazy what's happening. This guy is meant to be going into one of the biggest fights of his life.